Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. When you see a red sky at night like Louise did in Fayetteville, that's a sign there is no cloud cover to the west and you're not going to have any precipitation. That's exactly what is underway. The historical cold spot in West Virginia, five miles east of Davis. Right now the temperature 27.6 degrees. This area will have a deep freeze later this week and likely ties the coldest spot in the United States. Now tomorrow morning it may tie but we are guaranteed by Friday morning to see a low temperature here of about 12 above. That'll be colder than any spot in the West. We are seeing low 40s all across the region except upper 40s in our southern coal fields. We have the frost advisory in Pocahontas County, so make sure you bring in those potted plants before you go to bed. Very big sprawling high pressure off to the west. And of course we have Milton, a distinct eye without any clouds right in the center of the storm and plenty of rain heading for Florida. The latest with Milton, the winds of 160 miles an hour. It'll make landfall very early Thursday, most likely just to the south of Tampa Bay, cross over the state, and then head out into the Atlantic. It will be a crippling storm across Florida. One thing to keep in mind is that you will have the winds quickly shift to the northwest as the storm pushes inland because it's such a tightly wound system. So those folks along the west coast are going to see a quick shift in the winds of the northwest with a big onshore flow that will bring the storm surge inland very quickly. Also, folks, Milton will likely tie for the highest amount of moisture in the atmosphere along Florida's west coast. These are the maximum values for Tampa. This is August 28, 2009, 3.08 inches. Second place, 2.79 inches. That's how much moisture is in the atmosphere in the current forecast, 2.8 to 3.18 inches. So it's going to produce widespread flooding across the state. Back home, we have high pressure in place and those cool temperatures are going to stay with us through tomorrow. We will have patchy frost, especially in Pocahontas County tonight. And if you live in the Greenbrier Valley, White Sulphur Springs, Lewisburg, you'll wake up to a little bit of fog. Tomorrow's high 67. The breeze kicks in in the afternoon northwest at about 20 miles an hour. That's the biggest difference between today's weather and tomorrow's weather. By Friday, we start out very close to freezing. We end up near 70. So that big spike in temperatures will likely be the third biggest temperature jump in the area for the month of October. And then next week, it cools down. The coldest weather of the season behind a cold front on Monday and that will warm us up then later next week. So we have temperatures in the 60s and 70s over the next couple of days, back into the 50s Monday and Tuesday, overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. We'll be three degrees off the record high on Sunday.